So ever since I was a young fisherman, I've always used the spinning rod and reel setup. It's really just what I grew up with and what I've always used. However, today I am ready to take the leap. So I recently graduated college a couple days ago and fortunately everybody in my family knows that I love to fish. So I got a lot of Cabela's gift cards. So today I'm going to take the trip to Cabela's. I'm going to bring you guys with me. I'm going to upgrade my rod and reel arsenal. And I'm going to branch out a little bit and get my first spinning rod and reel setup. So let's get to Cabela's and let's get shopping, man. I'm super excited. All right, we made it to Cabela's. So let's get in here and check some things out. By the way, I am planning to fish with the setup that I purchased today. It's supposed to rain all day, but currently it's not raining and uh, I've got a good feeling that we're gonna get on some fish today. Let's head right over to the fishing stuff. All right, first thing I'm gonna do is look for a rod and then I'm gonna try to find a reel to uh, go with it. So let's see what we can find here. All right, so I did some prior research before I came over and I kind of had a little idea of what I wanted. And I'm kind of really digging these uh, Abu Garcia Vendetta rods. These things are just solid. They feel awesome in hand and uh, they're not too expensive. These things just feel great. I'm really liking these. This is definitely a contender for something that I might get. I'm just not sure if I'd get the 6'6 model or the uh, 7 foot model. Not too different in size. They're both fast action, which I want. So uh, let's see what else we can find here. Holy crap. I just looked at this rod. Yeah. Mm, yeah, not today. I don't know, guys. I think I might have just found another contender. Look at this. Between all these rods and the Vendetta, it's gonna be pretty difficult to choose. All right, so I've been looking around for a while and I've definitely been weighing my options with different brands and such, but I just keep going back to this Vendetta, man. This thing is just so sick. I think this might be the rod, man. I'm thinking a seven foot model. I'm gonna go look at the reels now and uh, see what we wanna pair up with this. Alright, so this is one of the contenders. This is the Shimano Casitas. This is the competition, the Shimano K9. It's gonna be a tough choice, man. Definitely digging some of these Quantum and Loose reels. But I think this Casitas might be the one, man. This is just sexy. Like, look at that. This might be the one. Casitas, left handed model. 7 to 1 gear ratio. I think I'm in love, man. All right, so we got our reel. We had a rod over there. Now we got to get some line and uh, let's get it put all together. All right, what should we get here? All right, I think I'm going to go with this 12 pound trilene. Let's get it all put together here and see how it looks. All right, so I'm going to buy this first, get it strung up, and then I'm going to buy the rod and then so we can walk out with it so I don't have to hold the rod while uh, getting this strung up here. Hi, how you doing? Hi. All right, we just purchased the reel and the line, so now we're gonna head back in and get this spooled up, because they do it for you here, so it makes everything easier. And then I'll buy the rod, and we'll get out of here and test it out. When you get a moment, can I get this spooled up? Nice, man. All right, he's spooling it up for me right now. All right, guys, he spooled us up over here. This plus this, it's gonna be nuts, man. So let's go ahead and grab our rod. We're going with, so this is the seven foot medium heavy fast action Abu Garcia Vendetta. This thing's freaking sick, man. Once I put this uh, Shimano Casitas on it, we're gonna be rocking. So let's go pay for this and put them together. All right, we're jumping on Cabela's. It's not raining, so let's go try this thing out, man. I'm excited. I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but I have never, ever used a spinning rod or reel. So this is definitely gonna be interesting. Hopefully I don't get any backlashes, but yeah, let's go test this thing out. Hopefully it doesn't start raining. With those gift cards, that ended up being a great price. So I am very excited. I'm just, I want to go use it. All right, so I just got home. I'm in my backyard, uh, about to cast this thing for the first time, but look at how sexy. This thing is. One problem is that it has red on it, and I'm actually colorblind. I did not know that this line was green, but whatever, man. It's Christmas. Let's give this thing a cast. All right, here we go. Let's give this thing a little cast here. This thing is smooth. This setup is freaking buttery, man. I'm, let's let's go take this out to the uh, 
the old pond there, see what we can get. All right, we made it to the pond. We've got a couple hours to fish before the sun goes down. So let's throw the GoPro on and see what we can do here. All right, guys, we made it to the first spot. And just look at, like, ugh, this thing is just beautiful. I'm going to try this frog out at the beginning, but just, I, I am in love. Let's see how we can do here. All right, let's see. First cast in water with the new rod. Perfect. Oh, shit. Good thing I watched a video how to get birds' nests out. Suppose I should have practiced more. Alright, take three. Like that sound. Oh, shh. Not good. I can fix this. Whew. All right, 10 hours later. Man, I knew there was going to be a learning curve, but this is, this is pretty tough. I definitely love the way this reel feels, though. This thing is like, and the rock. This thing casts great. I can cast all the way over to those pads and I'm on a very low setting right now so that I don't get <laughs> freaking birds nested again. All right, let's go out to this point over here. I don't know if these bass feel like eating this frog, but I'll throw up for a little bit more. All right, let's see if there's any activity over this way. I freaking love this sound. Oh, there's just a blow up over there. I'm gonna go to where this blow up was right quick. Excuse me, ducks. It was like right over there. Come on, where are you at? All right, definitely looks more promising over here. All right, it's time to switch it up here. Taking the frog off. Next up, I'm gonna throw this little crankbait out there. Well, maybe this isn't the best thing to uh, <laughs> throw here. Yeah, all right, this is a deep diver crankbait. I'm gonna take this off. No way this can fail me. I Texas rigged a little finesse worm and uh hopefully this can get me on some fish here the problem with this rig though is that it screams bird's nest to me we'll see what we can do here it's gonna be interesting to try to cast this thing do it do it just like that oh sh oh sh All right, switch spots. I'm over here at this dam now. Let's see if I can get anything to bite over here. All right, guys, I'm gonna switch to something a little bit lighter so I can just catch a fish. I'm gonna go after bass tomorrow if it doesn't rain. So let's just try to catch a fish for now. All right, so I threw on a little trout magnet and let's just see if I can catch a fish. I mean, I don't wanna get skunked out here. Oh, there we go. There we go, first fish on the bait caster. So we got a little sunfish here, and we did not get skunked today. So let's unhook this guy right quick. And hey man, do you understand how important of a fish you are right now? You are my first fish out, oh, well there he goes. But he's my first fish with the Abu Garcia Vendetta paired with the Shimano Casita. Yeah, it wasn't a bass, but we did not get skunked today. Let's see if we can get any more before uh, my camera battery dies and it gets dark. Both of those things are impending. There we go. Second fish of the day. Hey man, at least we know that this combo catches fish. Holy crap, guys. All right, so my GoPro died and I continued to jig the trout magnet. And look at this freaking monster crappy. Holy crap. This is a freaking beautiful fish. Let me unhook it so I can show you guys a better view right quick. Look at this freaking crappie, man. All right, guys, I'm gonna let this guy go right quick have to revive oh all right guys i'm gonna let this guy go let me revive him right quick make sure he's all right this is a freaking nice fish holy crap oh there he goes now that's a nice way to break in a new rod let's see if we can get some more so that's where i was fishing out earlier and i was catching sunfish and i just cut that crappie right over here this is like the little uh part before the dam actually falls down and all i was doing was just like this jigging that little trout magnet 
Oh man guys, all right, so I went down, after I caught that crappie, I went back down to this little spot over here, and I got my first bass on my baitcaster. I wish I remembered my extra batteries for my GoPro, but you know how that goes, so I'm definitely gonna be bass fishing a lot more, but just look at this thing that this guy on his head. What the heck is that? You got a pimple, man? All right, I'm gonna let this guy go. Wish you guys could have seen the catch. He definitely put up a nice little fight. He has a lot of energy, and uh, he's going back. There he goes. Can't wait to get on more bass with this thing. By the way, he hit on the trout magnet too, so yet again, the trout magnet pulling through. By the way, this is the dam I was just fishing. Look at this power line that's just full of fishing lines, bobbers, hooks, you name it. That's crazy. All right, guys, so that just about does it for me here today. Cut me some slack in the comments because I know I am a noob. I uh, tried my best today, though. I definitely learned a lot about the rod and reel, and I can't wait to get out tomorrow to get on some bass. Overall, I say it was a pretty successful day. I mean, I got on a few fish. I definitely got on a bunch of sunfish. I didn't put them all in the video because my camera died. Also, that crappie that I caught was really nice. That was a good eating size crappie right there if I ever seen one, but I would definitely not eat anything out of this pond. If anybody is wondering where I am fishing, it is called Beck pond. I saw a statistic on the internet that said this is the most fish pond in Delaware. So definitely this is overfished and it is not the easiest to catch fish. However, I did talk to another local fisherman here today and he said that he was here yesterday and that he saw somebody catch a snakehead. I knew that there were reports here uh, years ago about snakeheads being in the water and I saw a carcass of one I thought last year and this guy just saw somebody catch one yesterday. So that's really exciting. That's definitely my goal for the remaining of this year is to get on a snakehead. I have not caught a snakehead yet so I definitely got to get one. But yeah, anyway, it's about to get dark so I'm gonna end the video here I'm hoping to get out tomorrow to get on some bass and uh, yeah I'm definitely not coming back to this pond I'm gonna go to a pond that's easier to catch fish but yeah I cannot thank you guys enough for all the support last video I think I was thanking you guys for 500 subscribers and now I'm up to 900 as I've been saying I've been having a lot of fun making these videos that I've been having too much fun all right so definitely thank you guys for the support if you have any suggestions or tips to help me use this new bait casting combo definitely leave them below and I'll see you guys next video